You know, every once in a while, there's a good game that completely passes me by because I'm just distracted. And that's exactly what happened with Alien Swarm. Which is weird, because I usually take a close look at everything Valve releases. And you hear so little about this game, this is kind of one of these forgotten Valve games. So, um, here's an accurate recreation of how I missed the game. See, there's me, and there's Alien Swarm going by. Back in 2010, Valve released Alien Swarm as a free game. I saw it, quickly looked at it, and forgot about it. Why? I'm not sure. A few days ago, I played it. And damn, it's good. It's really good. I enjoy it. I enjoy it a lot. And all my friends who I played it with, they enjoy it as well. For that matter, let us have a look at Alien Swarm and its merits, and decide whether you should play it as well. The whole Alien Swarm idea began its life as an Unreal Tournament mod, which was picked up by Valve, including the development team, and released on the Source engine. Back in the day, Valve used to do that a lot. Day of Defeat, Counter-Strike, Team Fortress all started as independent projects by modding teams. There's actually a lot more behind the development of Alien Swarm and there's even cut content, but let us keep it short for the sake of... Uh, shortness. The game is a cooperative top-down shooter, running on Valve's Source engine. The map layout usually is somewhat of a dungeon, but sometimes opens up into vaster and bigger areas. These are styled after alien planets, space stations and the interiors of several human colonies. If you do get a big Space Hulk vibe, yeah, you're not mistaken, it's kind of similar. Your squad will be sent on a mission, sometimes finding survivors, destroying alien eggs or powering up a generator. Pretty much standard stuff you would expect from a game like this. Before each chapter, your team can select several characters. You have a sergeant, providing damage buffs to everyone around him, the special weapons guy, usually good for fire support, a medic, which of course is for medical assistance, and the tech guy, or as we call him tech marine, useful for hacking computer terminals and opening doors. You have two main weapon slots and a utility slot. The two main weapon slots can be filled with a variety of weapons. You get some standard weapons available to everyone and some more class-specific ones. Furthermore, some chapters grant you access to more specialized weapons and also leveling up your characters will grant you access to more different weapons as well. Apart from handheld firepower, the weapon slot can also be filled with medical equipment, ammunition crates and the sentry gun. The utility slot includes items like a welder, landmines, a medipack or beefed up armor. Before each chapter, you will be shown a mission overview, in which you can see the map and discuss strategy, and even draw on the map, which is a pretty useful feature. This can even be done during the game, but be aware, time does not stop, so you are vulnerable while doing so. The same counts for the tech guy while hacking doors. He is vulnerable, so be sure to cover him. Hacking computer terminals to open doors is done by solving little mini-games like this pipe puzzle, reminiscent of Bioshock. These puzzles can be rather quick or time-consuming, mostly depending on how experienced you are. But time is of the essence, so you better hurry, because all the other guys have to protect you. Looking out for your teammates is generally pretty important. Health status, ammo capacity, everything is on your screen all the time. Be on the lookout for infectious bugs and warn your teammates if they are infected. Because if you do not remain vigilant, even on easy difficulty, your team can be taken out very, very quickly. So observe the radar, avoid friendly fire, plan and coordinate, lock doors behind you, set up defensive perimeters using sentry guns, and eradicate nests. As you progress through the chapters and fulfill more and more challenging objectives, the enemies become more challenging as well. While in the beginning you will encounter random drones, later levels will throw at you enemies with ranged attacks, exploding enemies, and even enemies that infect you. So be sure to have a medic at hand. And coordinate well, because sometimes the swarm can be overwhelming. All this combined makes for an incredibly fun co-op experience, which I can absolutely recommend. Alien Swarm is a great game. But you know what's even greater? 
Alien Swarm Reactive Drop. Also available as a free download on Steam, Alien Swarm Reactive Drop expands on the base game, with more campaigns, workshop support, the inclusion of deathmatch, and even a bit more enemy variety. So if you are of the opinion that your marines don't look that nice, uh, you can help them to get out of this chicken shit outfit and stuff them into the uniform of space marines known from StarCraft. The amount of customability that came with the workshop inclusion is amazing. In addition to that, you can even include your own MP3 music into the game. So... StarCraft Marines, StarCraft Weapons Sounds, StarCraft Music, StarCraft Aliens... Oh yeah, you bet your ass we've been quoting StarCraft's Marines all the time. You want a piece of me, boy? <laughs> but of course, if StarCraft isn't your thing, Warhammer 40k Space Marines are also available. Brothers, be aware that the Steam Workshop holds access to many a thing the Imperium of Man deems to be unworthy of existence. So prepare to cleanse, brothers. Cleanse in the name of the Emperor. For we are the personification of victory. Alright. I'm having way too much fun with this. <laughs> As in every game, the Steam Workshop is a source of great entertainment. <laughs> so, if you are looking for something really fun and enjoyable to play with friends or even alone, because yes, there is bot support, then Alien Swarm and Alien Swarm Reactive Drop are good choices. Actually, you can just scratch the first game because every content of the first game is included in Alien Swarm Reactive Drop. A big thank you to the Reactive Drop team because these guys have provided us with an amazing free-to-play game. If you are someone who enjoyed Left 4 Dead and wants something similar but different, go ahead, check it out. And I know free-to-play games have gotten the bad rap, but uh, yeah, this is... This is the good deal. There are no microtransactions in here. Just a free game. Just an awesome game. Play it. It gets my seal of approval. Check it out. Links in the video description down below. Right alongside our Twitter and Discord. And of course, I'm curious to read your opinions in the comment section down below and I'll be happy to personally respond. And if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Give it a like, consider subscribing for future content and maybe even support us on Patreon, as our supporters there got to see this video first. A big thank you to our Patreon supporters Lone Wolf Deconus, Zed Gladys, Wrapped in Glass, Cookie, Harrison Staffens, Plasma, Brass Jazz, Ptolemyer, Rainbow Flash, Gris Lewa, Strange Module and Mr. Intonator. To them and everyone else, thanks for watching. So, hopefully, see you guys next time. Until then, have a nice day and as always, goodbye and guten tag. Have a great time exterminating alien scum.